Hi there. Now, for those of you that are already members of our Forex Signals trading community, you'll know that we have a very vibrant chat going on over there discussing everything from trading opportunities, different platforms, everything you need to know about the Forex market. And I saw a chat going on last week, which I found quite interesting. It was basically discussing which trading platform is the best one to use. Is it MetaTrader 4, often referred to, of course, as MT4? Or is it the new kid on the block, the squeaky clean C Trader platform, which is now being offered by a number of brokers? So I thought I'd spend a few minutes today just discussing that. But before I do get into that, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel if you don't already do so. That way you'll be able to catch up all my past videos in one place. But also, more importantly, if you hit that little bell notification, you're going to get an alert the moment I release my latest video, so you'll never miss it. Don't forget also to follow us on Instagram and of course follow us on Facebook. And if you follow us on Facebook, you can join me live for a free stream every Monday morning at 2 p.m. London time, where I stream live discussing trading opportunities for the week ahead. So I look forward to seeing you in there. So first off, let me explain the basic difference. Now, MetaTrader 4, or MT4, is the most commonly used Forex platform on the planet. I think it was first introduced back in around 2005. Now, it's free, available by most Forex brokers, um, and they offer it to the customers. It's very simple to download, very easy to install, and very, very easy to use. It does have its drawbacks, though. For some, it could be considered quite clunky, but I guess it is 15 years old, so what do you expect? But the huge advantage of using MT4 is its programming language has been adopted by many coders. So there are multiple providers out there that are willing to code up your custom indicators or your strategies to make your life as a trader much more automated. Some people find that a huge advantage. These are known as EAs or expert advisors. Now, the much newer C Trader platform is considered by few to be the more professional version with lots of additional functionality. Now, this is beneficial to both the experienced trader and the new trader. In fact, it has a very useful advanced order protection area, allowing multiple exits on an open trade. You also have the ability to view the market depth of a particular forex pair or indeed any trading entity that you're trading. Some people find that very, very useful as well. Now, let's jump onto the screens. I think the best way to compare is by looking at the two side by side, then you can decide which way you want to go. Okay, here we are on the screens. Now, I'm going to start off by looking at the MetaTrader 4, the MT4 platform, and then we'll switch over and I'll show you the C Trader platform. Then you can make your decisions on which one you think is best suited to yourself. Right, I'll just remove my video from the screen so you can see what we're looking at and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so when you first install your MT4 broker platform, it's going to look something like this. I suggest the first thing you do is have a glance down here on the bottom right to make sure that you've got connection to the broker and getting live price feed. You should see a blue green box. Now move over to the left of the screen, you'll see the market watch window. Here you'll see all the currency pairs that are available for you uh, from your broker. Uh, if it's incomplete, then just simply right click and then show all and then you'll have the complete list that is available showing you the currency pairs, indices, commodities and so forth. If you drag onto a chart, a particular currency pair, then that will update and that will show you the live feeds for that particular currency pair. You don't need to open the market watch window all the time. Keep that closed to optimize the chart size on your screen. Now each chart can be maximized and minimized, of course, to allow for a better viewing and clearer analysis. Now at the top here, you can see all these toolbars which are fully customizable and these tools are available at various locations. So you can see here by going to insert and indicators, all the different indicators that are available and these are all provided by the MT4 trading platform. You can also access the indicators by going to this green drop down here as well. Here you'll see the different chart types that MT4 make available. Now you've got the standard candlesticks there, the bar chart, the line chart. Personally, I only really look at the candlesticks and the line chart 
Some might say that the MT4 platform is quite limited in the available charts, but that's of course a matter of taste. Here you can see different lines you can draw on the chart. You've got your horizontal lines, your trend lines, vertical lines. Right clicking on those will allow you to change the properties, different colors and what they look like and so forth, all fully customizable. The colors of the charts, fully customizable, right clicking, going to properties and changing all the different colors, background, different colors for the candles and so forth, as you would expect. Now, once you're happy with a particular color scheme, you can save it as a template, going to chart, template, save template, and call it whatever you wish. Just call this demo. Now, once you are happy with a particular color scheme, so now you can make the other charts with the same look. You can also set up profiles so that your screen configurations are saved for your next visit. And you do that simply by going to Files, Profiles, and Save As, and just name the profile to whatever you want to call it. Now, there's a whole raft of coded indicators that you can attach to a chart, and you simply do that by going to Insert, Indicators, and picking the particular indicator that you wish. You can delete an indicator by right-clicking on it, delete indicator window, and it just takes them off the screen. Now, as I mentioned in my brief introduction there, you can also design your own indicators or expert advisors and have someone code them up for you. Now, if that was the case, you'd basically put them into the file, open data, MQL, and put them into expert or indicators, depending on whether they are an expert advisor, which will trade automatically for you, or show you signals, or indeed just an indicator. Going to view and terminal, pulls up all your trade history. You can check the history there. You can check the open trades. You can do adjustment of your trades as well, just by pulling up the trade and making the necessary adjustments. Going to terminal again. Here you can see marketplace. This is where you can purchase all the different indicators that have been coded up, trading strategies and so forth. So you can see it's quite an extensive, easy to follow functionality that makes the MT4 platform the most actively used Forex platform on the planet. For now, I encourage you to explore its functionality in your own time. There's plenty of free online tutorials in there that will help you to explore the hidden wonders. Now let's have a quick look at the C Trader platform. Okay, so here is the C Trader platform. First thing you'll notice is the look and feel is very different. You start off your journey by going to the left of the screen, you'll see the watch list. Here's where you can create your own watch lists. If you're looking to see a particular currency pair, then you go to Finder and you can scroll down and see all the different trading entities that your broker is allowing you to trade, that you have access to. And you can create your own watch lists there as well by clicking that plus, naming your watch list and calling it whatever you wish. And by clicking on a particular currency pair will pull up a new market order ticket. Here you can put in the size of your trade, hovering over here gives you a lot more information than you get um, instantly on the MT4 platform. You put in your size, note here that the size is in the unit size, not in lot size. So for example, we know the lot size of the currency pair is 100,000 of the base currency, so that would be one lot. It gives you the pip value as well in this particular currency pair. And again, hovering over, you'll see the position, so you'll see the pip value, the commission, margin required, and so forth. A lot of information there at your fingertips. You can also place your stop and take profit targets on the order entry ticket as well, as you could do with the MT4 platform. It gives you different options here where you can risk a certain percentage of the account. You can actually set your profit targets in terms of cash, money, or indeed on the number of pips, take profit and stop loss. Gives you the estimated price as well. You can toggle between views by clicking this little icon here, takes you to different pages and back to the home page. 
in the usual way, you can expand the particular price chart by clicking uh, that icon. And here you can see the different options. You can look at the bar chart, candlestick, line chart, uh, dot chart as well. Now this is one feature that is an improvement on the MT4 platform. You can have time intervals at multiple different settings. Anything from the one minute, two minute, three minute. You can see here one hour, two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, and so forth. Whereas MT4 just has the standard time frames. You can also look at tick charts. So you might have a one tick chart or a five tick chart as well. And of course, that would adjust the price chart accordingly. This is a key little feature. Underneath the price, you'll see this sentiment indicator. This shows you that with all the clients at this particular broker, 80% of them, by hovering over, expect this currency pair to rise. So 80% are long this currency pair. Quite a useful little tool, this. This is unique to the individual broker's client positions. And as usual, you can change the color of the charts by clicking that little icon there. Fully customizable. Down the right-hand side of the screen here, you can put in your trend lines, horizontal lines in the same way. You can use your Fibonacci extension tracement levels, retracement levels. Now, another key feature that I like about the CTrader platform is that you can detach a chart and move it to anywhere you like. So if you've got multiple screens or you're limited for screens, you can literally detach as many of these charts as you wish. Now, often with MT4, you may need multiple versions of MT4 in order to look at different profiles at any one time. But by detaching a chart, you can literally move it to anywhere you like on your trading platform. Now, another really cool feature that I think the CTrader platform has over the MT4 platform is the advanced order protection. So if you toggle between looks and go to this particular look where you can see the open positions, the order and so forth, price alerts, you look at this little shield icon beside an open trade, click on that, and it allows you to pull up this advanced order protection ticket. Here it will allow you to exit that particular trade in multiple exits, perfect targets and so forth. So this position is one lot or 100,000, wish to exit half the trade at 10 pips profit. You might want to exit another 20,000 or 0.2 of a lot at 20 pips and so forth until you get to the complete order. Apply that and that will exit the trade at these varying profit targets. Really cool feature. You can also move stop loss to break even should you wish to. So really cool ticket, real cool bit of functionality there that the Ctrader platform has. Now another cool feature that a lot of people find useful with the Ctrader platform is the depth of market, basically showing you where orders are surrounding the current market price. So if you go back to the watch list, look on a particular currency pair, right click, and then information, you'll pull up this ticket, which shows you much more information about that particular currency pair, and you'll also be able to see the depth of the market. So here you can see where orders are placed around where the current bid and offer is. A lot of traders like to look at that as well. So lots of information there at just a couple of clicks away. You can also buy and sell from this ticket as well, changing the lot size, unit size and similar to the expert advisors of course you can put in your cbots now cbots basically are pre-coded indicators and tools that you can use to assist in your trading so these are the standard ones but of course then you can go to the network where coders have coded other indicators and so forth and made them available so clicking on there pulls up a, a new window where you can look to see all the different available cbots that you can hook on to your trading platform. And as with the MetaTrader 4 platform, there's a whole bunch of functionality here that I'm not able to cover in a quick, short introduction video like this. So I encourage you to spend some time in exploring it to see if it fits into your needs. There's also a whole bunch of training videos out there available to help you in your exploration, to unearth some of these hidden wonders that the CTrader platform offers. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. I'll end up by giving you here my two pennies worth. The trading platform that you choose to use is really not that important. If you have what it takes to be a trader, the trading platform will not make that much of a difference. Sure, one has its advantages over the other, different trade-offs and so forth, but I'd say focus more on yourself as a trader 
and not the platform. Once you've got some degree of success, some degree of consistency in trading, then perhaps look to explore the different platforms out there and see if one is more suited to your needs than the other. As always, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to leave a comment. And of course, as I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe to the channel using that bell notification. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're following on Facebook, I'll see you Monday, 2 p.m. London time for our free live stream. Till then, happy trading and good luck.